Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this sub mod called Valyrian Steel. It just came out. It's on the Steam Workshop. I'll upload it on the description. I'll have it, uh, the link for you guys. It's about Valyrian Steel, uh, being able to explore old Valyria, recover old Valyrian Steel, and maybe even find your own Valyrian Steel stuff, like even a sword. But we're going to do it with Tywin, of course. Who better to use all of his money on than going on explorations to Valyria, uh, considering he has the most money in the game. <laughs> so we're going to do, first off, we're going to do an expedition to Old Valyria. Uh, voyages into Old Valyria are extremely dangerous. Most of that venture into the Smoking Sea do not return. And those do tell stories of horrible monsters and deadly diseases. Old Valyria is also the only place to recover long-lost Valyrian artifacts. So it's 500 gold, 25 year type thing. So mainly, maybe you can only do it twice in your lifetime. Uh, we are able to get stuff like a dragon egg, Valyrian steel, artifacts. The leader of the expedition can also be severely hurt, killed, or returned with a deadly disease. Eesh. But hey, you know what? We're Tywin. We're going to do it. Find me someone to lead this trip. I wonder if they're going to do it based off of the old CK2 stuff. But this is why we love CK3, all the extra mods that you can do, all the extra things. Look at that, okay. So, journey into the Smoking Sea. Oh, you can bring your vassals, okay. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Uh, despite the danger posed by traveling here, a handful of brave souls have answered the call. Uh, Devon, Tybalt, and Class has stood before me to lead the expedition. Uh, Tybalt Lannister, he's not a Lannister. Uh, it's no longer on cooldown, and I could do it again. Uh, Class Lugus. Um, Devon Heatherspoon. Skills to accomplish this adventure. Uh, okay, so what happens if you don't like any of them? Well, they fail to impress me. It goes off cooldown. Let's do it again. Because those guys were pretty weak. I want a, I want a good fighter. Okay. Adam Tettering. We got Lewis Lanster and John Beatley. Okay, so it seems to be pretty random. You know what? Let's just get this Adam Tettering guy. I'm sure he'll be able to fight. Uh, he's a neophyte fighter. Or right, you know what? This John Beatley guy. You know what? Let's do it. Smash the Beatles, right? <laughs> let's do it. John meets me at the docks. Uh, he has collected a decent crew and enough men to carry out the voyage to Old Valyria. He bows before me and speaks. Lord Paramount Tywin, I will not fail you. I will return to the treasure, and that we are long lost in the doom. You have my word. With that, he departs, taking his ship and his men westward into the Smoking Sea. Oh, that's cool. So you don't actually do it yourself. You fund it. You basically hire somebody to go off and take it. That's cool. And we'll see. Oh, he just straight up returns. Okay, uh, in that time, the ship makes him look his way to dock. I arrived to congratulate him, safe return. It's about being dragged off by the ship and crew. Something clearly went horribly wrong. Okay, so it's like immediate. And you gain gold. Okay, so I just gained gold. Uh, he recovered a glass candle. Okay. Wow, okay. Wow, it's really quick. There's no, like, pause for it, too, at all. That's what I like. Okay, so I get a glass candle. I went with a glass candle. You know how awful that would be? Glass candles were rumored to allow sorcerers to see across mountains, seas, and deserts. It said that flame of the candle can give them visions and dream them dreams and allow them to communicate with another half of the world apart. Bottom of the chest is filled with gold as well, which partially cover the lost cost of the expedition. Interesting. So that becomes a court artifact, I'm guessing. Or is it just an artifact that I own? Okay. So it's just an artifact, it's a trinket. Uh, okay, so I get Renown, Stress Bonus, and Grandeur. Okay, that's interesting. Well, let's see what else we can do. So we're going to fund another expedition to Valyria and see how... what other stuff we can get. Fund me another expedition. Okay, yeah, sure. You know what? You know what? You can have whatever you want. We're trying to do an event here. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, leave me alone. I get a cat. Mittens. Tywin and Mittens the cat. Okay. Alright, there we go. Sir Laurent Lorch. Antonio Jast. Oh, we gotta send the Jast, right? Skilled fighter. 
He's brave. 17 year old Antario Jast. Now, Tyron, I don't think would send him, but you know what? Seems like fun. Again, farewell. We send him off. He gets 20 opinion of us. He's a direct vassal to us as well. Oh, no, he's not. Too busy. I don't care if I'm a tyrant. <laughs> you really don't. They're like, hey, you do actual mechanics. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes for him to come back. Failed expedition. Oh, see, there's another thing. You can just straight up die. Died exploring Valyria. At this point, Antario and his crew are long overdue. I feel that Valyria has claimed another soul. What a disaster. So all family members lose 40 opinion of me. Oh, wow. What a disaster that was. Dang. So you just lose all your money. And everybody hates you. Yeah, I can see that. Well, what else can we do? And with that, you can get a dragon egg from the expedition into Old Valyria. Roland slowly opens the box and pulls out the artifact. He hands me an unhatched dragon egg. While it's likely it will never hatch, the egg is a reminder of what gave the Valyrians their power. And gives hopes that he might... That the might of dragons may one day return. Dragon egg, my lord, may it give you good fortune, he says. Uh, so if I were you, I would give your guy who just gave you a dragon egg, like, all your land, basically. <laughs> uh, so I get dragon egg. It is a masterwork trinket. You get a health boost. You get dynasty opinion, development growth, different faith opinion, plus six. Many rules have attempted to hatch dragon eggs through unorthodox methods. So it becomes a inventory artifact. Dragon egg, just like that. So you could, I wish you could probably put it in the royal court. They're probably gonna add that in the base game, but since it's a sub mod, you can't really do anything with it. You can't really hatch it, but really cool that you can just have a dragon egg in your possession. Now we're going to start an expedition to recover Bright Roar, the ancient Valyrian steel sword of House Lannister. Tywin's actual, one of his main goals was trying to restore Valyrian steel to his house. And his brother, actually, I think it was Garion, yeah, Garion went missing trying to find Bright Roar in the books. Well, let's prepare a ship. Oh, well, what do you know? That's cool. Uh, did they do that on purpose? Perhaps it's time to recover the blade. My brother Garion has long sought permission to the voyage to Valyria. Both glory and riches. Trip will be expi expensive and dangerous. Well, return safely, brother. There are a lot of chances for you to fail this mission. And just like that, Gary and could die. What's going to happen if he ac actually recovers Bright Roar, though? And here he has done it. Recovered Bright Roar. Gary and Lannister. Word of Garion's return has worked its way to me. I rush down to the docks and see the crews already unloading chests full of gold and other spoils from old Valyria. Garion approaches me with a large great sword in hand. He bows and presents it to me. Bright Roar, my lord, we found the wreck of Tommen's ship in the smoking sea. It's past time the sword returns to House Lannister. I take the sword in my hand. Bright Roar is finally home. Thou done yourself. Earn 500 renown, 500 prestige, and we get Bright Roar, which is huge. Prowess plus 9, plus 0.20 a month for prestige. Monthly renown plus 5%. Development uh, plus 0.10 a month. Sick. You've outdone yourself, Garion. And then you can just go into your inventory. And you have Bright Roar. Prowess plus 9. Look at that. It's pretty impressive. As in Eddard, he has ice. His uh, prowess is plus 9, so it looks like most Valyrian steel swords. Let's look at, what, Lady Forlorn? Miss Corbray, I think, has one. Lynn Corbray, I believe, owns it. No, he does. Plus 10 for Lady Forlorn. Okay, stuff like that. Well, really cool, guys. I wonder what happens if a regular just Count or a High Lord tries to take a Valyrian steel sword. So if you're just a common High Lord... You can't go and find specific swords, stuff like that. Uh, but as Fang Tower, I was able to give myself some gold. 
and I sent Gurgur Clegane out to Valyria, and he has a cursed, just straight up became cursed. Bubonic Plague hit him. Disgusting, but hey, at least he, uh, at least he found some stuff. So he has Bubonic Plague, oof. I gained some stress, but you can get a Dragon Egg as just the common High Lord. Look at that. Dynast I have different uh, traits to him, too. Development growth, monthly lifestyle experience, monthly stewardship lifestyle experience. So the Cleganes have a Dragon Egg. Oof. That could be uh, pretty cursed, actually. But there you guys have it. Uh, that is the submod Valyrian Steel. Really cool. You can get things like Valyrian Steel Swords, Dragon Eggs, Glass Candles, Maces. Really cool mod. I'm going to be adding it to all of my new playthroughs. So, things are just started for this mod, guys. I'm really excited.